It's nice yeah. to be able to so. choose your modules more as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like mm. you kind of get your basis in mm. first and second year, and then you can choose more in third year. And things like being able to choose modules based on their assessment as well a little bit. Mm. I yeah, don't, I, I don't find that helpful. Yeah, I don't really enjoy doing exams, so mm. picking modules with like the least exams <laughs> possible. Mm. But then and it again, doesn't matter yeah. what you pick because mm. they're all interesting. So you prefer yeah. exams, so you pick. Yeah, so I picked ones with exams. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. like massively impact your choice because all the subjects are good. study um, so far in quite a negative way, um, and I'm aware that I've done that, but there are also some quite positive things about the study as well. So can you try and think what those kind of positive things about the study, as well as the negative things, um, might be? MySpace, access to blogging tools, to Twitter, to YouTube, um, discouraging the use of Wikipedia, and so forth. And that means that for those people who lack access out of school, their ability to meaningfully participate through the classroom is severely limited. <laughs> have gone to white musicians. So Jesse J uh, won a number of awards a few years back. Sam Smith, I think a couple of years ago, won quite a few awards. Um, and, and that sort of prompted quite a lot of debate about why are they giving awards to kind of prominent white musicians at this ceremony, which is supposed to be celebrating talent, which, which doesn't rec get recognized elsewhere in some extent. No, I'm, I'm just not not sure how does that work because the because for me it's like 1950s we had domination of Chuck Berry mm -hmm. so it was amazing and what kind of then, music was he playing rock yeah and rock and roll music. music yeah and then we have then we have uh, in the same era BB King he yeah. had dominance of blues so there might be for example in, in the Grammys or something there'd be like a R and B category or something and then there was a reasonable likelihood that someone that, that was black that would win that. But in the sort of major ones like best album, best artist, etc., etc., it seemed that not only did they or they not win, but they were not really represented very much in nominees either. Remember what we said about the, cat, the the people going around door to door in in villages centuries ago, trying to count the number of people in the household. That was data, wasn't it? So the existence of data is not new. The counting of people, the counting of processes, products, that is not new. What is new though, is that the scale of it is incomparable, it is recorded, it is real time, and it is not in our control. How do intimate physical functions become data points? What kind of issues arise at the inception of it? So, I want to introduce to you the thermometer. And we are going to make up a little advert for the thermometer, which will explain to you what it does. It's basically a smart fertility tracker. But the interesting thing is that it is not just geared or pitched or even marketed towards women who are trying to have a baby. And it's nice that sorry, there's so many like other like societies and stuff where you can do the practical media if that's yeah. something you're interested in. 
Yeah. So you don't feel like you can do like Stag TV, the Stag. Yeah, the Stag thing. Radio, Subculture. Like there's so many opportunities to do the practical media if yeah. you want to, but you don't have to do it part of your degree and get like assessed on it.